This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. The title of this rant is, well, it's a line. The line it is drawn, the curse it is cast, this white president's time is in the past. So we know yesterday that there was a conviction of Paul Manafort and that there was a plea deal by Michael Cohen. And basically what this is, is the beginning of the end of the white man's rule in terms of political power here in the United States and the rise of women. So if we take a quick look back, if DJT had lost, then Cohen and Manafort, nothing would have been done because they would have been losers. And we would be having more Benghazi hearings uh, and more email hearings and more contrived outrages uh, come up upon by the Republicans because basically they hate women and they have been going after Hillary successfully for over 25 years. Uh, but what has happened is that women have taken the challenge right now of this being a white man's world and are going to turn it upside down. The day after the inauguration, there were huge protests across the entire country and across the world of women knowing what this guy was going to be like when he came into the White House. Uh, and right now, the greatest negatives that this president has is with women, especially college-educated women. And they, uh, uh, they are going to go after him. And basically it shows that with yesterday's conviction that right white men have basically been running amok, that they are drunk with power, that they do things because they can, and they use that leverage over other people. Now, remember that the, the two convictions of Michael Cohen's yesterday, where there was uh, basically a conspiracy with the president, was that they were trying to silence women. And that is not going to be acceptable. It will not be allowed at all. And it is coming to an end. Yes, there are many rich, white Republican men who will try and exert power. I can think of uh, uh, Sheldon Adelson and the Koch brothers offhand. There's many more. It will not be an easy fight. It will be a drag down and dirty fight. But the tide has turned. And the more women that are running for office, and of course, we know that there are a tremendous amount of women, especially Democratic women, who are running this time around, uh, who have been, uh, who are going to be in, um, in contention this fall, and they're drawing more people. And we also know that the more women that vote, as that happens, we will be heading <laughs> towards a more perfect union. And we will be getting rid of the tyranny of the white men, especially this president who has shown just an absolute contempt for women and for the Constitution and for the United States. You know, this, it, this guy is going down.